Hi, Freak here, and today we have another Funko News video, so let's do this. So let me just try to blow through this quickly. Uh, as you know, that one system every month puts some new products in their system that we're going to be seeing be revealed in, like, I would say, like five or three months from. We have the Funko Pops. So let me just read what we have here. First of all, we have some WWE Funko Pops, which I know my friend Micro Pop Collecting is super excited for because he loves WWE and is a completionist. Prayers go to you, my friend. Then we also have a WrestleMania XXX toast deluxe moment which a deluxe moment is almost like a stranger things dustin eddie scene hello kitty funko pops coming soon including a hello kitty with balloon hello kitty in cake and a hello kitty 10 inch we also have the godfather part 2 funko pops coming soon including a deluxe then we also have some Goodfellas Funko Pops that are coming soon. We have Galaxy Quest Funko Pops, which makes sense because there is a SDCC one that should be coming soon. Chief Mercury, Born to Love You, I Want to Break Free, 4-Pack, and a Wembley Stadium Deluxe Moment. Kellogg Pops with the Diggum Frog, Cornelius, Coco the Monkey, and a Snap Crackle Pop deluxe moment now i might have to get that smack crackle pop deluxe moment going to sell my cornelius nft to make some money because if we're getting a common one why even buy or have the nfts ghost album this is him almost like as like nosferatu which is super cool again another album i'm probably going to be getting soon we have a six inch satan which is pretty cool i don't collect south park but i know these are pretty cool my friends are really excited for these some new pokemon pops coming soon new Tri trigun funko pops coming soon which I might get a couple of these. I'm not sure. Two Seven Deadly Sins Wave 2 Fungal Pops. Including a 10 inch one. Which is going to be awesome. A Bambi movie poster. Deadpool Funko Pops. Pull. Beauty Pregnant Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of other ones so at first looks at the nezuko leaping which actually i thought it was just gonna be like i thought it was legit legit gonna be nezuko like crouching no this is straight up nezuko like in her demon form and she's covered in blood so that's actually pretty cool at one of the funko shop exclusive demon slayer funko pops that released over on a mexico store which basically was like mexico's version of the funko shop so these are going to be dropping soon which man if they're a monday this is gonna suck because i go into work right at 12 so i'm probably gonna ask tomorrow i'm just gonna take the gamble and say they might drop monday so i'm gonna ask him to go i'm gonna ask to go in late covering which is him basically i think on the bed or something but I, again this is a super cool fungal pop they're making so much cool demon slayer fungal pops and i know i'm like you put all this effort into anime why can't you do it for all the normal other fungal pop I have the shinobu fungal pop the demon slayer one which will also be releasing in the fungo shop hopefully later this week because the stock has loaded in about 17k units each so we got ourselves a pretty hefty drop. We also have the Green Goblin build a scene, which is hitting stores. Might be street dated. Electro build a scene is hitting stores. Now I need to get all these build a scene ones. I'm trying to collect. I'm trying to collect them all, so I might just wait them out again on clearance or just figure out something. WrestleMania posters are hitting Target stores. Doc Ock build a scene, which is hitting stores. Holy crap, that's three. My God. And we also have first looks at SDCC 2023. The question, which I'm definitely gonna be getting, it's going to be shared with Funko.com and eBay. Then we also have the Glaceon and the Itchy and Scratchy 2-pack from Treehouse of Horrors is hitting Hot Topic. If you check out the Funko Pop Hunt, it should be out now. Hot Topic exclusive, SDCC exclusive, a new Frodo exclusive, which is going to be shared of Hot Topic. This is an SDCC exclusive. Uh, so far, they're getting the Lord of the Rings, the Hunter x Hunter, and I believe, oh my, I forgot. A Hot Topic is getting those three pops, and there might not even be a soda. There was rumored to be a soda, but I don't think there is. And if that's the case, like, man, this honestly sucks because this is the first time in all my years of collecting, there might be nothing I want a Hot Topic for SDCC. And this is a Pop Freak first. I don't think I want nothing in Hot Topic. We'll find out when that retailer guide gets shown. And Funko has updated their free shipping on orders. This time, instead of $50, it is $65, which is a $15 difference. People got to stop bitching and just deal with it. It's because it's, it's the man in the office's fault, so can't be blaming Funko. 
Then we also have the Janis Joplin and the Fun on the Run stuff dropped today. The Black Light Janis Joplin did end up dropping alongside with the Jackie Robinson backpack. And the other stuff from the Fun on the Run did drop at 9. Garfield and Liv Morgan are sold out. I do want to get that Garfield, but I might try to find that in stores, hopefully, maybe. But I did end up getting the Janis Joplin. So when that comes in, um, it's going to be pretty cool. A green Namor pop and tea coming soon. Like, why? We also have first ever Five Nights at Freddy's Sun and Moon Funko Pop Hot Topic exclusive. Definitely gonna have to get this one. This is pretty cool. And man, I thought they would never make a Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pop again, but they did. That is awesome. Our first looks at SDCC 2023 Modoc Unmasked. My name is Darren, and I am not a dick. Now, holy crap! I definitely need this. This. People say it looks like an egg. People say it looks worse than the actual character. If that's not insulting enough, man, I I definitely need this. I definitely need this. This is so fucking funny. I definitely do need this. If this is actually shared at the good store besides Fungo Shop, the boy might pull up to MA, just saying, and then we'll have ourselves the SDCC pop hunt. But man, I cannot wait for that pop. Talk more about the Funko. Um, I'm gonna talk more about the Funko I'm fun on the run thing in my um, SDCC video, but we did have the fun on the run. Chase is actually as expected. The Robin Chase, the Batman was the common one. So the GameStop exclusive Ghost Rider coming soon. There's no pics, just a straight up image by itself of or a reference image. I have the Star Wars Galacticon four pack of Luke. Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, and Chewbacca is getting a repack, which I'm assuming this is all old stock. They broke down. They're like, hey, hey, we can't throw all these plastics away. Let's just remake it and make it a flocked four pack. Really overstocked this, and now they're trying desperately to kill this stock. That that's actually really fun. We also have some new Pop Asia exclusive. And we have the new Blue Beetle Funko Pops that were revealed today. We have a Target exclusive, a Funko Shop one. We have a common with a chase, and we have the sodas. And we have an Amazon exclusive. Um, we have an Amazon exclusive. Like, I think that's Grandma, I think. It's a soda. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's Funko News video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Peace. You killed him. He was your brother. And you killed him. He was your brother, Saki. Your best friend. How could you do that?